This Libre Time tutorial describes how to use the web stream capacity to rebroadcast another internet stream on your station, and describes how the linked show feature works. It is primarily intended for program managers or people setting up a station schedule. We will use also demonstrate how linked repeating tracks can be used as an alternate for auto-loading playlists, which can be useful when the content of the show itself doesn't change. Let's open up our LibreTime instance. And the first thing we will do is add a web stream. LibreTime is capable of rebroadcasting IceCast and probably Shoutcast streams. Other stream types might be supported, but this is what we'll focus on. For example, we will go to my streams station stream at stream.wcrsfm.org colon 8000. And you can see we have the two streams we have. So. To rebroadcast WCRS, we can right click on the M3U and copy the link location. And now we can go to WebStream, click New, and paste in the stream URL. Default length will determine how long LibreTime schedules the stream to air for. In general, it should be as long as the show is. But if the live content cuts out early, you might want to take that into account. For this purpose, we will change the default length to 00H60M for 60 minutes. We could also have probably done one hour. Change the name, and you can add additional notes in the description. And then you click Save. To make sure it works, you can right click on the thing or click on the hamburger window and click Preview. This should open up a window that starts playing the web stream. WCRS is 24 7, so you should hear something playing. In general, it is probably a good idea to get permission from whoever you are planning to rebroadcast as it will use their bandwidth and their content. Now we're going to create a show that airs this content every day from 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. So we'll go to Calendar, Show, Future, Start it tomorrow. 7 o'clock to 8 o'clock in the morning. We'll then click repeats and we'll select all the days. We'll do it every single day. If we want it to air on Monday, you could just check Monday. Since we're going to air a rebroadcast of the stream, we can then click Link, and this will prevent us from needing to set up an auto-loading playlist for this show. The Link feature basically means that all future shows will be exactly the same as the latest show. Any changes made to the tracks will affect all future shows. Okay, we'll click Save, or Add This Show. Now we can go to the show on the calendar and click it and click schedule tracks. Then you just need to go to the web stream up here and drag it over. And click OK. As you can see, you, we can also say add a top of the hour station ID, smart block, whatever ID is selected at random will be the same for every show. So any changes you make here will then need to be done manually in between shows. This is one of the limitations of Link Shows that drove development of auto-loading playlists. When you're just relaying content produced elsewhere, that is also always the same. At the same URL, then this is the easy way to set it up. So you can see here. 
they're all exactly the same. The linked repeating show could also be used to rebroadcast a specific show automatically in the future, but keep in mind the DJ responsible for it would need to make changes to the scheduled tracks when they want a new show to air, and it wouldn't benefit from any intro or outro playlists that are automatically added to auto-loading playlists. But if you want to repeat a weekly show in the middle of the night, this could be an easy way to set it up. And that concludes our web stream tutorial. As always, you can ask questions at discourse.libretime.org or open up an issue on our GitHub queue at github.com slash libretime slash libretime. Thanks for tuning in to this Libretime tutorial.